Okay. Here we go. Oh, love that effect. Ew, fungal biome. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to go check out the new content. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, Miju Games just came out with a small update, um, and they also uh, just reached 1 million um, sales of the game, which is really cool for them. So, yeah, that's awesome for those guys. Uh, they did say they're going to take a break, too, for uh, a couple of months, I think, over the summer. Um, so this will should be the last update we'll get uh, until... You know they're back from their hiatus um so yeah congrats to them so there's a couple things that uh, have changed in the update uh, there's a new small biome behind uh, over by the cenote that we'll go check out and they said that we're in when we're in deconstruction mode there's a hover option hmm all right, hold on. Let me look at those notes again. It says, add a specific hover effect when using the deconstruction tool to prevent unwanted deconstruction. And along with that, apparently we can still, we can now interact with objects while we're in deconstruction mode. So how do we do that without deconstructing the th the thing we're interacting with that's that's what i don't get because if i interact with this i'm going to deconstruct it um yeah so i don't know uh, i don't understand how that's supposed to work because i can't interact with any of this stuff without also deconstructing it hmm yeah that's weird Okay, and then the hover thing. Let's go into the key, uh, the controls. Is there like a new keyboard shortcut that we use for that? Move backwards, switch, run, constructions, Q. Turn off HUD, jump. That's all gamepad stuff. I'm on a keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, so you can press, is this new or have, has this always been here? I can press you to interact with this. Oh my God. <laughs> I never knew that. Are you kidding me? I mean, may, I don't know. Is that new or has that always been here? It's probably always been here and I'm just a freaking noob. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. All right, well, that in that case, uh, it doesn't look like E is assigned to anything, and that's the that's generally the action key in most games. So let's assign that to E. Oh my god, I can't believe that, you guys. So, okay, so that must mean then that if I am in deconstruction mode, I can still press E to add, no! That doesn't work. God damn it. <laughs> uh, are you serious? Okay. Um, fortunately for me, that overflow bin didn't have anything in it. So, yeah, I don't get it. I don't know how we're supposed to interact with something while we're in deconstruction mode without deconstructing it. So that's a mystery. You guys probably know, so let me know in the comments. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's put that thing back. Uh... That was kind of kind of funny, actually. A little irritating and kind of funny. All right, so this is overflow two. Uh, okay, and then yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how the hover thing is supposed to work. Because as soon as I let off the jetpack, while I'm in deconstruction mode, I just fall like normal. So if you guys have figured that out or you know, I'd appreciate knowing because those things could definitely be useful, but. 
I just don't know how they're supposed to work. Okay, so anyway, let's uh, let's go check out this new biome first, and we're still also on the lookout, you know, for more warden keys too. We're pretty much will continue to be on the lookout for those things as we progress here. Um, let's get a drink of water, and uh, the main goal for today, though, is, is you can see in my inventory, I've got all the stuff to set up a a portal, and we're gonna go do a procedural record three just just to do it. Not that I really need stuff. I could use the money though. That's for sure. Um, all right, let's go into, let's go over to our, uh, our, our home. So that's going to get us there closely. And then, um, yeah, let's go down here. So it's supposed to be behind the waterfall or between the waterfall and the cenote. Well, here, let me just look at it again. Hold on a sec. New small biome between Cascades and Cenote. Look behind the waterfalls. Oh, okay. So are they saying... The Cascades, I, I believe, are where my home is. So they said look behind the waterfalls. Aha! Here we go. Okay, yeah, this is definitely new. And, of course, we have to more, blow more stuff up. Okay. Oh, what do we got here? Look at this. Oh, this is cool. So what is this, just like a big osmium cave? I mean, this is aluminum here, right? Yeah. I like it. We don't need osmium. These look like marine plants here, like coral and stuff. Wonder why they're not underwater. Very cool. Got some golden frogs here. They're just random golden frogs, so I don't see a nest. I like this blue uh, kind of lily pad looking thing. Anything over here? I'm just kind of looking in the nooks and crannies and trying to see if there's anything worth seeing. Okay, well, I guess that's uh, the extent of it. It's a neat, neat new little place. Oh, okay, we got another passageway here. Okay, there's a, there's one of those. Um, I'll take that, that, and that. Don't think I want that stuff. The rest of that stuff. This sounds like it just comes out at another one of another one of the waterfalls. Ooh, underwater passage. That's cool.
Huh. More passageways. Oh, golden chest. Wait a minute, is this this? Is this just the normal Cenote? Uh, yeah, I don't actually want any of that stuff. Yeah, this is the actual Cenote here, okay. Because that'll, uh, well, that leads to it anyways. Right, okay, I know where I am now. So that, that means you can get to the new biome from either side then. Uh, game save. Okay, let's go back through this way. Oh, we already went that way. Uh, where did we come out at? Was it over here? Yeah, we came out over here. Okay, let's get some air. That's the normal entryway into the Cenote area. So I guess, okay, so I guess that's it then. Nice. Alrighty then. Why don't we head back to the base, the main base, and um, get the portal set down and we'll We'll go check that out. Oh, wait a second, though. Is this another passageway? We also have uh, this. No, nope, I don't want those. We do have another passageway. Or do we have two different passageways? Why is there a different clump up there? I don't know. Let's blow this one up. I only have one more of these on me at the moment. That just leads into here too. All right, we'll take the genetic trait, the tier two, we'll take all that stuff. Ah, okay, so this is a... Oh, just another passageway, okay. Back out to the Cascades, gotcha. I like it, it's a nice little touch. Nothing extraordinary, but still pretty cool. Just adds a little more flavor to the world, you know? Very good. All right, let's get back to our main base. And uh, we'll go check out a portal. A procedural wreck. All right, before we do that, um, let's get some new um, genetic traits off our critters here. We need a um, another uh, species too, because uh, Larry the leaf tail needs a, a mate. Okay, I'm assuming I have already put all of those guys in there. Um, that's a variant, not a species. That is a species, but we don't want another species one. So we're just holding out for a species two. And then uh, that's a size four. This is a size five. Let's put the five in there. We have a variant four. Let's try a variant two. Okay, so we still need a skin pattern and a color B. Um, so bee larva, silkworm, bee larva is the one that does species one. Okay, let's make one of those. Got, got it, okay. So that takes care of our species one. Uh, a color B and a skin pattern. We have a skin pattern there. 
No, no, no. That's the skin pattern color. We need the pattern itself. Uh, right here. Skin pattern. Okay. So we just need to make a color B. And that's going to be... Color A, color... What makes color Bs? These fish eggs. All right, let's go back to the base and grab some fish eggs. Um, where did I put those? Over here, I think. Plankton. Oh, what did I do with the eggs? Oh, I think I know what I did with them. I think they're in here. Yeah. Ikaru fish eggs. We'll grab those. Those are the only ones I have anyway. Go back to the food farm. Uh, you going to do something? Oh, shit. We can't use the Caro fish eggs. Uh, nothing's ever easy, man. Okay, so let's go with this. Let's see if we can make a Yulani fish egg and go with this kind of lavender color. Okay, so Yulani fish egg. That's what we're after. This. So we need a plankton C, a tier three mute, and a fertilizer. Plankton C, tier three mutagen, and a fertilizer. We got to. We're kind of low on normal fertilizer. Plankton C, tier three mute, fertilizer. Research. Wait, what? Oh. Sorry, put the wrong thing in. Okay. While we're waiting for that, let's get our uh, our portal set up. Um, let's see, where do we want to put it? This is a fairly flat-ish area. It's probably as good of a place as any. set it over on our power island yeah we'll leave it here it's more accessible here there's our Yulani fish eggs Got it. Okay, here we go. Oh, you know what? We're out of room, aren't we? In our our uh, chat, uh, animal shelter. That's what it's called. Yes, we are. Okay, we need to make another one of those. Let me go back and grab this stuff for that. Okay, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. I think actually I know what happened. I just deconstructed some fabric to get the silk and the silk instantly disappeared. So I'll bet you, you grabbed it and made the fabric again. Uh, uh, did you? Hmm. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, let's turn this over to bioplastic anyways. And... Uh, 
I need I need a silk. And I don't think I store that directly. I probably should. It's just not something that you usually use directly, you know. Okay, so let's just grab a fabric out of here. Let's try that again. There it is. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Anyway, okay, so we got that. Uh, we need a circuit board. A, what is that? A pastera? We need um, a methane. And I think a tier two vert. Yeah. And I believe that's a pastera seed. Oh, by the way, if you're curious, we are, um, where is it at? 70, 71, almost 72% of the way towards the last stage. We're getting there. Um, and we're just about ready to pass over to 4 TTI. Um, what am I doing? Pestera seed. That's what I'm doing. So we'll find those, I think, in here. Oh, no. That's right. That's a Lerma. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where are we going to put this thing? You guys are all got food, right? I should probably make that new animal food just because it increases um, terraformation index stuff. Uh, this place is really getting crowded. I wonder if I should find a different place for this. How about right here? Oh shit! Wrong species. I like the colors though. <laughs> shit, that was uh, that's species one. I is it species two we needed? Can't take me anywhere, man. Tell you what. Uh, where is Larry the Leaf Tail? I don't even know where he is. There he is. Yeah, species two. Damn it. Okay, well, um I know I could I guess I could recycle that new ham, the speedster, but that'd be kind of mean. <laughs> so let's just fuck. Uh species two is a silkworm. Uh don't have let's see if this has a silk for a minute it doesn't uh you are supplying stuff yeah okay asbestos butterfly let's actually grab one of those all right that gave us a color a a brown color I got sp species ones and threes. Uh, bioluminescence seven. Okay, so let's go with a size four, a bio seven, a variant four. A skin pattern color. Uh, we'll do this color A that we just made and that skin pattern color. Okay, so we just need a color B, a skin pattern, and species two. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Um, I don't want to spend any more time on this, so we'll do that in the next episode. Unless these guys have more traits to give us right now. 
Oh, he does. Okay. Let's pet all of them. Where's our new ham, the speedster? Here he is. Don't wander off too far, little guy. I do like the colors on that one, though. Okay, did we get a species? A species three. Man, it's like species. Am I just getting some shitty rolls here or a species two rare? Did we get a skin pattern color? We did not. Did we get a color B? That's a color A. That's a color A. That's a color A. We didn't. All right. So let's just put all that stuff into there then. Okay. Yeah, let's get, let's just get moving here because we're starting to kind of run out of time if we're going to do a procedural wreck. Drink one of these. I'm just gonna put you in there. Let's grab a little more food. Just gonna uh here we can make another cookie. Oh right, we gotta have that in our inventory. Oh that gives 90 health. Okay. Well let's take one of those and, and I guess we can't take one of those yet to keep our thirst down. Uh, as you can see, I made a few flares as well. And I last time I did a procedural wreck, uh, you could loot a bunch of flares too, and they're good for leaving breadcrumb trails. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? Scan for distant wrecks. Rarity difficulty. This one implies that it gives the best stuff and it's also the least difficult of all of these um kin is this pinnable it isn't all right so we're gonna need two quasars four pulsars one magnetar two blazar two quasar two blazar four pulsar one magnetar okay so we're oh man we're short of quasar we need two Quasar, two Blazar, four Pulsar, and one Magnetar. Um. Okay, let's go to the cave, the Rainbow Caves, and probably we're actually probably as close to there as here as we are anywhere else, and grab ourselves another Quasar or ten. There we go. Don't ask me how I found this place. I just kept wandering around aimlessly until I saw, started seeing green. We're going to grab all of the Quasar, just because that's obviously the one I was the lowest on. Okay, just so for future reference... There's this big ledge here, and it's... Just kind of kitty corner from the uranium cave. That's not how I got into it initially, but at least we know that's one way to get to it. So if you come up, yeah, come up that ramp there and then go this direction. That's how you get into the Quasar Cave. All right, I don't see any more crystals in here. Uh, green ones, anyway. That seems to imply there might be one, that, or maybe that's just one of the rainbow reflections. Let's grab that. That, that, that. I'm going to eat one of these because I want this tier two. 
The rest of that stuff's not that big of a deal. Let's go. All right, let's do this. So we're going to a rarity five, difficulty three. Um, rarity to get the rarity of loot, difficulty, the complex interior. All locations contain at least one wreck, sometimes more. You need to come back via the portal to keep the loot you gathered. Wrecks contain unique loot. Right, okay. Here we go. Oh, love that effect. Ew, fungal biome. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to set down a beacon right by the portal so we can get back to it easily. Uh, are we not going to set down a beacon by the portal? Does not let us do that. Why in the hell does not let us do that? What the hell? I've got all the stuff for a beacon. Really? Why would not? Why would it not let us do that? Huh? That's just bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess we'll have to find it on our own. Um, and that also means I'm not carrying this extra basic stuff around with us. Oh, it's already marked for us. Ah, okay. You know what? I, I think I vaguely remember reading about that in the patch notes. Okay, never mind. That's why we don't need to do a beacon. It is beaconed already. I want to just peek behind here, see if there's any goodies to be had. There's butterflies flying around in this place. So we're, before we do the actual wreck, ooh, I think that's not supposed to be that way. Yeah, there's an invisible wall right there. Before we get the do the wreck itself, let's just kind of look around in the biome for any goodies. Um, oh, well, there's the wreck, or at least a wreck. Ah, uh, what the hell, since we're here, let's just do it. Okay, so this is difficulty three. Deconstruct that. So I think we'll set our first flare down here. Just so we know that that's the way out. Ooh, look at that. Uh, holy shit, 1200% multiplier. That looks like a golden maple tree or something. Nice, okay. We'll deconstruct all of that stuff just, you know, so we know we got it. Yeah, we'll have to plant that tree in our forest. Okay, so the only way to go from here is is left which is the way we would normally go anyways always go left first and now we come to an intersection where we can go left or right and we're going to go left first and down so when we come up these stairs we just go off to the right to get back out. I don't think we need a flare quite yet. Let's continue to go left. Oh, wow, look at this. They did uh, say, th too, that they um, 
added um, some more, uh, another room type to the procedural wrecks. That's really cool. Can we go down here? No, there's a window there. So that's just the same entryway, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Just making sure. I like that. It's cool. Here, let's check this. Oh, a new spacesuit type. Fantastic. The Turio. Well, okay. We don't really have the right lighting to see this, so we'll look at it when we get back out of the light. Legolas frog eggs. Nice. That's the, those are those black frogs with the red eyes. And we had a thousand terror tokens out of that deal too. I like it. All right. I guess that's all we can do in this upper area, but we do have these stairs here. So let's go down here. Oh, okay. So that does allow us to go down out into the courtyard. 500 terror tokens. Use the, oh, need a light box. Oh, wow. That's cool. We could, uh, we might be able to put that to use in our new base, our home base. All right. I know that's going to go out onto the ground, but that's fine. Okay. Let's, um, let's just drop all the iron. The only reason I, you know, take those crates apart is so that I know that I've done them, right? It's not because I want the iron. I'm also going to drop the flower seeds too. We just don't need them. Maybe we'll keep the volness because that is a pretty valuable thing. We don't need bean seeds. Let's drink some water and some of that. I mean, honestly, we don't even really need these first, but... I kind of hate to throw those out. Okay, we'll take this, this, and this. Well, we'll take all of that. But we're going to dump that, 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 and that. All right. Can't do anything with that panel. Okay, that's cool though. That is cool. Cool beans. Nothing else back here. Okay, so that takes care of the left side passage of the wreck. Now let's go right. And we'll continue to stay to the left. Access card. Okay. So that just leads to this same area where we just got the access card. So we don't need to go down there. This leads to a dead end. Okay, I'm going to, I believe this is the way we came. Right, because there's the stairs. Um, I'm going to throw a flare down right here. Because things are starting to get a little confusing. Let's 
So we go out that direction. Okay, let's keep looking around. This is a dead end. There's the f flare, right? Yeah, okay, so let's go this way. Come out into like a cafeteria area or something. I don't see anything in here, though. Okay. Let's go back out, then. This is the place that's the dead end room, right? Yes, okay. And we've already been down through here. This is where we got the access key. Okay, I guess we're done in here. That's the one that went down into the courtyard area place. Yeah, right, okay. Wait a second. Did we go? Yeah, I guess we went back there. Okay, so... Is that it? I think, uh, did we go this way? I don't think we went this way. Yeah, I'm sure we didn't go this way. Okay, so once again, um, that's our flare. We come around this corner here. We went down there to the courtyard. We went that way. Now we need to go this way. So this is the new area. Okay. We'll go down those stairs later. We want to stay to the left for now. Okay, nothing back here. Okay, we got some debris to take apart. That door doesn't do anything. That door doesn't do anything. So that just led us to a dead end. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we have a fusion generator. I don't... I wasn't expecting this in a procedural wreck, so I didn't bring a core with me. We'll have to go back and get one. Okay, this was the other downstairs area that I said we'd come back and go through. And I didn't bring any explosives either. Shit. Okay, fusion core and explosives. Aha. This is the main room. 100 Terra tokens. Okay, let's put that in there and all of these normal mutagens can go in there. We will take the tier four and the quartzes. Uh, I'll take these two things for now, but I don't mind dumping those out later if we need to, because we have plenty of them. There's a variant genetic trait. 500 Terra tokens. 
Take those and those. We'll leave those. 500 terra. Ooh, look at this. A prunia tree seed. Also 1,200%. Okay, cool. So we'll be planting that in our forest. And, I mean, I guess we'll take one each of those. Okay. Yeah, none of the rest of this stuff is really all that valuable to come back for. Hmm. Is this just a spare access card or is there another room we're going to need to go to? Let's dump this and grab this. So those kind of roundish doors that we came across earlier are probably the ones that the fusion core opens up, I'm guessing. That's the stairs we came down. Um, let's go this way. Yeah, like one of these doors here, I'll bet you, the fusion core opens. Or maybe all of them. What's that? That's nothing. I mean, nothing that I can do anything with. Uh, we got some... Can we disassemble these? No, we can't. So those aren't like the normal servers. Ooh, five. Oh my god, look at that. 5,000 terra targets. All right, we'll take that. Um, let's put the... Let's just dump a couple things out that aren't real essential. I hate to throw osmium rods out, but, you know, honestly, we've got tons of them. We're making pulsar quartz in our factory, so we don't need to take that. And, I mean, we could even get rid of the tier 2 fertilizer. Uh, what is that? A skin pattern. Yeah, let's take all of that. And I think we're good. Another thing that we need to blow up. Man, I, I, if, if this is a level 3 difficulty, can you imagine what a, how complex a 5 would be? I'm already fucking lost. <laughs> I wonder if this was the same area we came to, but from the other side. It could be. Okay, well, obviously we're going to have to come back here with a fusion core and some explosives. And we also need to check to see, um, you know, if there are other wrecks or even just other things to loot in the biome. Once that glitched out. I hope that uh, pink water is okay to drink. <laughs> so we just need to, when we come out of the portal, remember, we need to remember we go left to get up to that wreck. Ditching this. We can also eat to give us another spot back. And um, we're going to ditch these two things. We'll take all of those and ditch that. Okay. Ah, there is another wreck. Wow, okay. All right, guys. Well, here's the thing, then. There's there's no way we have enough time to go back to the other wreck with the fusion core and then come and do this one. So we're, we're going to just wrap up the episode here, and we will pick up in the next episode by coming back and continuing 
this uh, area. We'll continue exploring it and finish out the first wreck and then do that next wreck. This is really cool. There's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of area. 500 tokens. You know, this is actually really the only thing that I care about in here. But, yeah. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to go back, drop this stuff off. Get some fusion cores and some explosives. And then we will start the next episode. And we'll continue in this uh, portal. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. See ya. Pretty lights.